In my last video, I created a pivot table to quickly show you how to get, per country, the largest city. So there's just a couple of steps there, and the video is only about one minute long. In this video, it's a bit more challenging. We want to create a dynamic hyperlink to the largest city per country. So this is a relatively easy data set, but imagine many more thousands of rows and uh, more complex data. So to do this in this smaller, easy case, uh, I'll walk you through all the different steps. The first step is to create a drop-down list for all the possible countries. So I will go data on the ribbon, data validation. In here I will pick list to restrict this to uh, all the different countries. I'll type in the equal sign, press the F3 key on the keyboard. This will jump to all the possible named ranges select country, press the OK button twice, and now just as a sample I'll pick Brazil. So this means we've, we've selected Brazil, find the max population for the selected country. So that's what we have to do now. So I'll create an array formula, and this is a special kind of formula which I'll have to explain at a later time in another video. But it allows you to do things that uh, are, not norm are not possible with normal functions. So I'll say if, and I'm going to do this. If Brazil, every time it's equal to the countries listed here, and of course countries are listed multiple times because we have multiple cities, but every time those countries are equal to the selected one up here, what we want to do, value of true, I want to get all the population numbers for all the cities that are from Brazil. So we go like that. If it's false, we put a blank. And I just close off my array like this. I press Control Shift Enter. This is the bare array, but there's no function. So inside of here, we've got a bunch of numbers. If I press the F9 key, just a bunch of numbers. We're not doing anything with them. Of course, in this example, we want to get the max, max value of all those numbers. So I press, once again, Control shift enter because this is a special function. Now we've got the largest population right here for Brazil in all of this list. Every time this column, these values equal Brazil, I'm pulling in all these numbers. I'm getting the largest number. So that is, what's well, a big number, 18, almost 19 million people. Next, find the row number for the max city per country, or the city with the largest population per country. So now, I'm going to do another array formula, and I'm going to say if, once again, this, our country, equals, and I'll select the country list, like this. This time I'm going to use the asterisk character to put in the second criteria. So, first thing is, I only want the countries that equal Brazil. Next, I only want the populations that equal the max population. And of course, there's several different ways to do this. Uh, I think I thought of two or three before the video started, but let's just go with this one. So if all these countries in this green area here equal Brazil, and if all those populations equal the one above, the 18 million, almost 19 million, when that's true, we want to see the row number, doesn't matter which column we select, but we just have to start in the same spot, row 20. So it's only going to be true one time unless there is a tie for the top population, but let's just say that doesn't happen. I put the double quote, if false, the last bracket, control shift enter, as this once again is an array formula. Our answers are stuck inside of here. We don't have a function on the outside. We have a function in here, but we don't have a final function to extract the number, the row number, because when it's true, when both these conditions are met, condition one and, this is the and symbol, condition two, when both conditions are met, we get row numbers. So I have to now say, doesn't really matter, min or max, because we, we're saying there's only one that meets that criteria. There's no, there's no tie for first place. I put the min function around the entire array, 
control shift enter because it's an array formula and this says it's row 105 now let's just see if that's true I'm going to I don't like scrolling with the mouse um, but in this case actually it's right there right in front of us um, and there's the population so we would just have to create a hyperlink now add hyperlink function so this isn't a normal hyperlink where you just type it in and it's just a static link that always jumps to the same spot now we are going to say hyperlink I'm gonna do this little shortcut put in the number symbol or the pound symbol uh, instead of the sheet name build this dynamically I'm going to make it uh, I'm gonna hard code in column E and I'm going to say the row number is right there so this ampersand character is basically putting we have it there twice it's gonna put all this together to build the string to build our dynamic hyperlink so I think we've got everything we need so far only thing I'm gonna to do to make it look kinda of fancy comma the friendly name I could just type in something like you know link to largest city per country but I'm going to say um, largest link largest city ampersand and let's click on Brazil okay put in the last double quote put in the ending bracket press OK let's see if this actually works I click on this it should jump to there it goes jumps to Brazil let's try a different one I'm gonna pick um, let's pick Canada and the largest city Oh, I made a mistake here. H7, I don't want to put quotes around it. Do not want to do that. I want to just leave it without the double quotes so it gets me the value from the cell H7, which is Canada. Type enter, that's more like it. So now I click and it goes to Canada, Toronto, and there's the population. Let's do this again. Something that's maybe off the list that we don't see below. Columbia. So here's Columbia, the largest population. There is the row number that the array gives us. The largest city, let's see if this works. We click this, and of course, Columbia, Bogota, or Santa Fe de Bogota, and that's the population. Now, let me just take out all of this part, and I'm gonna, I like to do this, paste it over here. I'm just gonna type in the array brackets because get this one because I'm gonna take this whole thing and put it into one large formula for you enter and this one copy I type in an apostrophe I have to actually the rare time that you would actually type in the array brackets most of the time you, you have to do control shift enter let's just make that 12 now I'm gonna take a copy of this hyperlink function put it in the cell below and watch what I do same thing right let's just test a different one Egypt largest city let's click Egypt <laughs> what's right there let's pick something off the list again India click it jumps to Mumbai population of n over 19 million people so I said I was gonna make one large formula out of this what do I have to do well you click inside the formula bar here and it shows you what's being used so I need to take h9 here and put it inside I'm gonna t go in here take all of this copy it to the clipboard go down here delete h9 by pressing the delete key twice now I paste in that long formula yeah and it is long control shift enter now because it's this array is inside so we have to do control shift enter let's see if it works now it's still jumping there let's change it to Iraq largest city Baghdad one more Morocco what's the largest city well so we have this hyperlink there it is Casablanca with three and a half million people so we're not quite done if I click in here I still see that I'm 
referencing two other cells and we want the whole thing to be inside of here so technically I could delete uh, the other three. Actually we need to keep this one, the drop down list. So H8, where is that? Right there. H8. I'm going to go in here, take this array formula, copy it to the clipboard, come back down here, and I'm going to say, all right, where is it again? H8, right there. Go like that, paste it, control shift enter again. Let's test it again. Let's put this one in bold as well. Let's go to Peru. It'll be Lima. There it is. And that is a little over 7 million people right down here. So uh, what is left here? Let's see. Let's click inside of here. All that's left is Peru and we want to leave that because that's our drop down list which sort of you need to have on the outside. Click Philippines. Now to prove this is working let's select these three cells, delete and I will change this to Singapore. Click the dynamic hyperlink and there we are. Um, one last time, let's just for curiosity, well Spain would be Madrid, but let's see if it works. There we are. Spain, Madrid, there's the population. So this is, in the end we have this very long formula, but you saw how I build it step by step.